Okay, so this is uh, Mr. Kamau at policeabuse.com, and you called our office regarding uh, an incident involving your wife and a Carroll County uh, police officer? Yes, sir. Okay, why don't you tell me what happened and how the police came to your home and, and what disturbs you about their behavior? Okay, um, it was 11.45. I had just got done watching a football game. Um, I turned the TV off. I dozed off. Um, I heard beating for like a real hard beat. So I ran down the steps, and when I looked out the window, I seen a whole bunch of guys in front of the door. I opened the door, and when I opened the door, the guy pushed me and said, get on the ground, get on the ground. And when he pushed you down on the ground, he said, put your hands behind your back. He put the cuffs on me. I heard the officers run up the steps. I heard my wife screaming like somebody was harming her. Um, I said, what's going on? They said, don't worry about it. Um, next thing I know, I see the officers. I hear my wife asking for clothes to put on. The officers gave her the clothes from what she told me. They gave her the pants, and they watched her put the pants on. Okay, hold on. What, what, what was your wife wearing at the time that this whole thing starts? Was she, she was wearing, wearing a, she was, she was wearing a nightgown, but she was naked underneath it. The bottom half was naked. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they give her the pants and they watch her put the pants on. They bring her downstairs. She doesn't understand why they're there, so she's physically upset about the vomit. Um, they, she's gagging. The officers tell her to go into the bathroom. The sheriff's off. It was there, was pushing on her, and I said to him that there's no need to be pushing on her. He turned around to me and said, what did you say to me? I said, there's no need to push her. She went into the bathroom. This is after they're watching her. She got sick. She came back out. She sat down. She started getting more sick. Her stomach started hurting. So she said, I have to go to the bathroom. I'm about to go to the bathroom with myself. The officer said, you can go, and one of the officers, the officer escorted her to the bathroom and stood in the doorway in the bathroom while she used the bathroom. This is after they searched the bathroom. So and, this, and hold on, hold on, hold bag. on, hold on. Were there any female officers there, or these were male officers? No, 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 sir, all males. Every single one of them were males. Not one female. And they knew that she was in the house because they had her name on it, too. So we go into the, they go and they watch her in the bathroom. And then she comes back out and she, well, why are y'all here? She said, I'm getting upset. Why are y'all here? The detective, Gregory, that was talking to me said, uh, he said, you don't want to see me get mad is what he told her. After that, they went searching through my home. You could hear him upstairs uh, laughing, and you could hear her vibrators. You could hear him turn them on. You could hear him vibrating. Um, so let me let me just back up a second. Through. You your your wife had um, toys, adult toys, um, for your private yeah. use in your home, and the police took the toys out and started playing with them. Yeah, out of their area, because they put them back in the wrong drawers that they were in. And when they put them in the drawers, they left them on. Oh. When they left, we went upstairs and looked in, looked at our bedroom that they had ripped apart, and we could hear the toys in the drawers going off or turned on. So we opened the drawer, and they were turned on. They were vibrating. Okay, now you also said um, that the police officers were laughing and sending text messages uh, back. Oh, yeah, laughing. And, yeah, yes, they were laughing. And then the officer was getting a text message. He was getting text messages from up there. He's looking at the pictures, and another officer got a text message. Um, and you could hear him laughing and commenting on it. Okay, now this was done contemporaneously with everything else that was happening. So you know they were in the house searching. You know they were in the house with this equipment, and they had it in their hand when they were laughing and cha exchanging jokes and sending text messages? Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't know exactly for sure, but I could hear him commenting, and then you could hear the 
uh, vibrator. Okay. All right. I don't know exactly if they were. Okay. So they were being, so they were behaving. Uh, aside, let me just give you my initial impression, I, and I may want to ask more questions, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. My impression is that it was improper for them to be in the bathroom with your wife. Now, was there any reason that they gave where two male officers had to go watch her use the, the toilet? They didn't, give, they didn't give nothing. They didn't say nothing. They okay. just followed her to the, they said you can go to the bathroom, and they followed her to the So bathroom. they watched her, they literally watched her in the bathroom even while she was wiping herself? They literally watched her. There was a male, yes, there was one with a mask. I couldn't see his face, but he watched her. In the bathroom with, in the bathroom with her? Yes, in the bathroom with her. And then they went and started playing with the sexual toys that you guys have that are between you as yeah, husband you, and wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And this is this is Carroll County, and you said Hart, Hartford County was there. Was yeah, it Carroll or Hartford County, or both yeah. of them? They were both there. From what I called, I called when I talked to the officer. He said that it was Carroll County, but there was a Hartford County officer there too. He was a bald head guy, I guess a canine unit. Okay, um, I just, seen his badge. It said Hartford County. You saw Hartford County on on one of the officer's badges. Yes, and then all the ones that had green and black one with police on the front of it. Okay, just stand by for a second. Okay, sir. Um, I'm getting it's not ringing yet, but I'm I'm trying to dial the sheriff's office. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, this is very serious. I will look into it further and and call you back. But I want to make sure I understand exactly what happened. You're telling me that Carroll County and Hartford County officers entered your home, that your wife was not dressed and had nothing on on her bottoms other than a nightgown she was wearing, that they watched her put her clothes on clothes on without leaving the room. And that they then escorted her to the restroom because she was sick. And after searching the restroom, they stood in and watched her both go to the restroom and clean herself up. And the officer stood there and watched. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. And that this was a, a, as part of a search for alleged marijuana sales, regardless of your guilt or innocence on that charge, that's what they were there for, correct? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Did anyone in your house or anyone, you or your wife, anybody living there, do anything to assault or threaten an officer? No. Okay. No. Did you cooperate yes, with all the orders that they gave you? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Did you behave abusively in any way? Did you threaten an officer, curse them, or call them any names? No, sir. No. Okay. All right. Um, all right, sir, I'm going to stop the interview there. I'm going to call the Hartford County Sheriff's Office and also the Carroll County Sheriff's Office and refer them to our internal affairs page to view this video. Okay. Just a moment, I'm stopping it here. 